he started okay. okay. <laughs> Gotta be serious Wait, faces. Wait, I gotta say Zach? Zach? I'm just gonna say yeah. I'm Zach? Okay. Yeah, lean in. Ah. Lean in. We'll all take one. Yeah. <sighs> okay. My name is Christy. I'm 20 years old and I fight for climate action. Hi, my name is Lexis. I'm 21 years old and I'm a climate activist. Hi, my name is Hope and I am 22 years old. I'm also a climate activist. Hi, my name is Tristan. I'm 21 years old and I'm at the climate strike here in Ottawa. Okay, so we're getting ready to go to the protests. Here are our signs, vulgar signs that we made last night. So yeah, we're about to leave. Can't wait. Woo! It's gonna be fun. student at Carleton. Name's David and I'm 21 years old. I'm Sam. I'm 21 years old and I'm also a student at Carleton. Um, so as a household, we're all pretty concerned about climate change and we kind of advocate towards the, uh, the movement to, to cancel that. So um, a few examples that we do are recycling and composting weekly. Uh, we like to carpool as much as possible. Uh, we, all three of us bike, and bike to school and work. Yeah, and we try and find sustainable ways to eat. Like some of us will have a, a vegetarian day where we'll try and stay away from any meat or maybe even a vegan day, no meat byproducts or anything like that, just to try and do our part to help out. Yeah, as, as Sam says, we try our best to do that, um, but at the end of the day, we all kind of eat meat um, once in a while, just get the protein, and it's kind of hard to replace that, so um, we're looking for alternatives, but right now we're, we're still kind of eating meat and um, kind of adding to that climate change, I suppose, in that way. Mm. And I can speak for all of us uh, by saying we feel judged from the more active climate change um, activists because we're not doing enough towards the movement. I also think that the government has a huge part in uh, mm. keeping us away from what has been going on, keeping information away from people, um, and definitely making it seem like it's not been that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. And I think in the past couple years, that's why climate change has become so big, is because a lot of people on social media have been starting to post about it and stand up for what's actually going on in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they literally knew, like decades ago, and they didn't tell us. Like they yeah. knew, and they didn't say anything. Emissions markets, our individual consumption patterns alone, all while our governments pour billions of our dollars into the profit margins and bank accounts of the oil and gas industry. guys feel like there is a division within the climate movement like do you guys feel like there's blame put on people in the movement yes a hundred percent I think um, we've kind of turned this into more of a competition mm -hmm. than it is a movement in a sense um, you go to a, a protest and say I'm not vegetarian but I'm doing other things and mm -hmm. people will look down upon you because you're not doing enough Mm -hmm. And it's like, who's doing the most? Yeah. It's always a competition between people. Instead mm -hmm. of appreciating that people are changing their lives to mm -hmm. try and help it. Yeah. Because in a sense, yeah, like, I might not be doing everything I possibly can, but I'm doing something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's not just me who will make a change. It's a group effort. Mm -hmm. Everyone in the world should be fighting for the same end goal. Um, I personally feel a bit frustrated as well. I think... Um, Climate change has become a little bit of a fad mm -hmm. and a lot of people who aren't actually interested in climate change or are climate activists are going to these protests just for their like Instagram picture and I even like through my school we, we got extra credit for just going and showing a professor a picture that we were there um, and there's a lot of people I knew in my class that went and had no interest in climate change, but had taken all these pictures and mm -hmm. posted on their social media. So I think that plays into um, 
kind of my frustration as well is it's not actually um, seen uh, as um, as intense as it is. It's kind right. of been taken down. It's just little things that can make a huge difference. Yeah, and, and on the point of the judging, I mean, I feel like um, we're trying our best to do do our best and, and kind of cancel the climate change, but um, the judging kind of puts you away from, from trying to, to do that. Um, so I feel like if anyone can just kind of get rid of that stigma of um, people not doing as much as other people, um, everyone's you know, doing their best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's the little things that add up, I guess. Like, you know when you want to clean, but if I'm like, here, go clean, you're not going to want to do it. Yes. Okay, so I feel like a lot of people believe in it yeah. and like want to do their part to help, mm -hmm. but because it's turned into such a competition on through social media, it's yeah. being like thrown at people and yes. people are getting intimidated right. and, and backing That's off. True. I definitely think that there there's a reason to do it, there's cause mm -hmm. for it, so if you're just one person and you, for example, stop buying straws or you get you know reusable cups, I do think it makes a difference, but I honestly think it's not making a big enough difference mm -hmm. because it, it comes down to uh, big corporations and industry that are emitting most of the CO2 emissions in the air. But also at the same time, I think if there's like a, a large enough group of us, like what Greta has done, mm -hmm. it'll start knocking on the higher levels. For sure, oh, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. our movement, as much as we feel like it's not enough, if, yes. we, if yeah. we all go towards and it. And it's just beginning. Exactly. It's just beginning exactly. to blow up. Like through Greta, now so many more people are involved. So even if, I guess, they start off it as it just a fad, it's turning into something more. Exactly. And that's the point of it, yeah. I guess. And I think that's, that's the point of like most movements. Like no matter how small or like different everyone's intentions start out as being, like it's still a platform for like underrepresented groups, yeah. like marginalized groups, indigenous peoples to like raise their voices <laughs> and say something. But I think people need to focus more on bringing everyone together rather than dividing them, Yeah, you know, especially now. Yeah. So I guess one of the positive attributes of uh, climate change activism is it brings people together um, no matter what country you're from we're all trying to achieve the same goal of, of saving the planet for our kids and for our future as well um, and it kind of it's kind of cool to um, get different uh, advice from different countries or different people uh, of what they're doing to change and see if we can apply that to our lives as well yeah I think it's pretty obvious a pretty universal thing for humans all across the world is the desire to have the healthiest living space they can and I think that's something that the climate change movement kind of brings people together in one common goal that almost everyone can agree on if they you know like to be alive and healthy. And just to play off that point as much as it's an individual effort and trying to do your best individually to, to make a change um, at the end of the day it's a group effort of everybody in the world to, to ultimately uh, make the change as well. You don't have to be vegan, vegetarian, like quit eating meat and consuming dairy altogether. You don't have to quit flying or live a completely zero waste lifestyle. You still have the right to fight for climate action and not do or be those things. It's all about solidarity, not division. Mm -hmm. And everyone I talk to about this feels the same way, but they're just afraid to say it.